The most successful families are the ones that work together to achieve their goals. Of course, even the best-run households have the occasional kink or two to work out. But the truth is that no matter how well things seem to come together in a family, appearances can be deceiving. And when it comes to friends and neighbors, Appearances often have precious little to do with the reality of what's going on behind closed doors. All right, so we're going to meet more neighbors. And then we'll go to Edie's house. Oh, also we're going to go to Mike's house, too. Hello there. We just wanted to stop by and welcome you to the neighborhood. Um, we're being assholes, sorry. Oh, hello. Right. Well, I'm Daniel, and this is Frank. I'm his brother. Oh, I sort of figure the two of you look a lot alike. Well, we are twins. Again, I sort of figured. Frank, cut it out. We just like to make it a point to meet our neighbors firsthand. So, when you're not meeting neighbors, what do the two of you do? Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, well, I made my fortune, if you could call it that, in the fashion industry. Perhaps you've heard of me, Daniel Fox? I'm sorry, but I don't think I've ever heard that name before. Oh, that's unfortunate. So do you have a job, Frank, or are you more of the live-in moocher type? Actually, I run my own business. Oh, do you? Maybe you should show her what you do. Frank is starting up an internet-based networking company. He can set up the computers in your home for you. For free, of course. That is assuming that it's alright with you. Is it? Um, you can set up whatever you want to, as long as I don't have to pay for it. Okay, there's one right over there. I'll start with that one. So, now that Frank's off working his magic, we can chat a little bit until he finishes. What do you think of your new neighbors? They're alright, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Listen, sweetie. Let me tell you something about our little neighborhood. You will never die of boredom. There is always something going on. I sure hope you're right, because things are looking pretty dull right now. That facade will quickly fade. Trust me. Within a week, you'll have plenty of stories to tell me. Really? All right, give me the scoop on everyone. Oh, there's so much to tell. Too little time. Well, did you notice how Susan Mayer was acting this afternoon? She was running around like a chicken with its head cut off, flipping over chairs in her backyard and on the porch. She seemed pretty freaked out. She must have lost something important. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. Susan seems to have her head on straight. All right, I'm all done with that one. Are there any others you need set up? You should have her head over to my son's room next. If he finds out his computer isn't hooked to the network, I'll never hear the end of it. You know how teenage boys can get. His room is just upstairs. You can't miss it. Look at that strut. He's like, oh yeah, fuck bitches. Yeah, Frank can be a little coarse at times, but he means well, so you get used to it after a while. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but I noticed that. He was in the military so long, I think he got used to barking orders at people. Interesting, I couldn't tell. After he finished his service, he landed a job in the city, but he wasn't happy there. So we decided to get a place together out here in the suburbs. Well, that explains why Frank's here, now how about you? There's no special reason for why I'm here, really. Sorry to disappoint you. I guess you could say I just needed to take a break from the fashion industry. It was like a big party that never stopped. But sometimes, you really needed to stop. Having all those models around you all day isn't exactly a rough life, is it? Yes. It did get awfully hectic at times. Let's get ready. Frank's gonna come back with his I fuck bitches walk. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it looks like your son's system is already set up. Oh, is it? I guess I'm not surprised. He's good with computers in that way. And that system of his is top of the line. Dual processors, two gigs of RAM, it works. To be honest, I think it's just a waste of money. It's just a computer. It's not doing the laundry or driving you to work or anything. Oh, is that so? I've set up the browser for you with a tutorial and a bookmarked homepage. When you start the browser for the first time, 
you'll be directed through the tutorial. If you're already familiar with the internet, it should be like riding a bike. But give the tutorial a shot anyhow. To skip the tutorial, just click the skip tutorial button. And that's that. You're all set up. Well, if anything goes wrong, I guess I n guess... Wow. If anything goes wrong, I guess I know who to blame. Yep. You're welcome. Nah. Well, we'll be on our way now. We just wanted to welcome you to Wisteria Lane. Yeah, so now that you're finished welcoming me, you can go bother someone else, right? Yes. We'll be leaving now. Oh, I'm so rude. Ditto. I feel so bad. I'm sorry, guys. Where am I going? Alright, um, one of the things is to browse the web, I guess. What else is there? Yes, just browse the web. I got a package for you, girl. Hey, what's new? What's new is that I just found a letter in my mailbox marked E.B., and I got to thinking, why would Edie receive a sealed handwritten letter from someone? What does she have to hide? Not too long ago, I found a hand-delivered letter in my mail, but I think it was meant for you. Nothing really. In fact, I gotta go right now. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, Carl's here. There are a lot of people in the neighborhood that would have held on to it. To be spiteful or to have some ammo against me. Oh, well, I'm not that kind of person. Yeah, I think I met a few of them, but I'm not really the spiteful type. Darn it, I knew I should have held on to it longer. Just kidding. Well, it means a lot to me. That's all. I gotta run. Houses don't sell themselves. Oh, before you go, be sure to take this with you. So anyways, here you go. Oh, wait, this is yours. Oh, thank you so much for returning my mail. I don't know how that happened. Oh, actually, wait. I do know what happened. That pharmacist is a nut job. He's been obsessed with me ever since I flirted with him at the pharmacy a little while ago. Really? The pharmacist? He seems like such a nice guy. It seems like Fairview attracts a lot of that sort of thing. Well, all the disturbing things a creepy pharmacist can do, sending you unsolicited packages in the mail is probably at the bottom of the list. He's weird, but harmless for the most part. I try my best not to talk to him anymore so as not to give him any more ideas. Maybe you can set him straight. What do you say? I'm not making any promises, Edie. Sure, I think I can handle that. That doesn't sound too hard. I'll see what I can do. Alright, let's go to the mall. Hey, you're bugging my friend. See? Oh, hello there. What can I do for you today? Uh, I wanted to talk to you a moment, if I may. You can do something for me. It's about a friend of mine, Edie Britt. This is kind of awkward, but here it goes. How well would you say say you know Edie Britt. Edie feels like you're coming on to her a bit strong and she's not actually really interested in a relationship right now. You're really creeping Edie out and she sent me over here to tell you to back off. Um, oh, I said be mean to everyone, so. Uh, listen, I don't know what she told you, but I'm not some weirdo with delusions of having a relationship with one of my customers. She expressed an interest in certain medications and I gave them to her. Well, she's had enough, so you should feel free to stop supplying her with unwanted designer drugs. Is that all you were expecting from her? She seems to think your little favors come at a price. I wasn't even expecting any kind of favors from her. This is what she wanted, I know it. But if she wants to act like this, pfft, well then fine. See if I ever talk to her again. That was a fine, fine, um, voice thing that he gave. Um, great, I'm glad we had this little talk. Bye. Oh, th okay then, Earl. Thanks for understanding. Wow, you are a weird one, you know that? Secrets! Hello! I'd like to get to know you better, Mr. Winston. Why is that? Um, there's an air of mystery about you. You seem like a very interesting man. You're different from other men around here. Well, what would you like to know about me? Why did you move to Fairview? Where did you live before you moved to Fairview? What state are you from originally? Why do you ask that question? Uh, it seemed like a good place to start. For no particular reason. I don't know. Don't lie to me! What do you know? Who sent you? Oh god, why would I lie to you? What's the matter, Mr. Winston? Go take a chill pill, what's your problem? I'm sorry. I have some... Unpaid bills from my last residence, and, and I've had collectors calling me lately. So that's why you're freaking out? I understand, Mr. Winston. Oh, really? Well, as you can imagine, I, I'm embarrassed about this. I would rather not discuss it. I didn't mean to be nosy, Mr. Winston. 
Oh, it's not your fault. I'll see you next time. I, I must get back to my work now. All right, freak. Tell me more. Hello. Is something wrong, Mr. Winston? I'm still embarrassed about our last conversation. I bet you are. That was some display. It's been completely forgotten. No worries. Really? Still? Why is that? I shouldn't have become so defensive. You're right. I wondered about that. You really weren't that defensive. I've seen worse. If you say so. Maybe we could start over. Is there something else you'd like to know about me? What do you do with your spare time? Do you have any children? Tell me about your family. That's not funny. How is what do you do with your spare time? What are you talking about? What's not funny? Here we go again. What a strange man you are. Who sent you? What? You're compl you've completely lost it. Nobody sent me. What is wrong with you? Who sent me? What is with you, Mr. Winston? This conversation is over. So long then, you nutcase. Maybe you should have this place checked for f toxic fumes or something. Hello. Why are you staring at me, Mr. Winston? I'm embarrassed by the way I have treated you. And I'm deciding whether or not to tell you my secret. Why would you tell me a secret? By all means, as long as you're comfortable telling me. Just tell me. You probably think I'm a nut job for the way I've acted lately. That's not necessarily the case. What's your deep, dark secret? Not at all, Mr. Winston. Why would you say that? If I told you my secret, you'd probably understand my behavior as of late a bit more clearly. Oh, really? Tell me more. I'm always willing to listen. Then spit it out already. I don't have time. Or I don't have all day. But I'm afraid that you'll think less of me. How will you know if you don't tell me? Of course I won't think less of you. It's possible, but not likely. If I divulge my secret, will it stay between us? I'm almost positive that it will. You can trust me, Mr. Winston. I've kept some pretty juicy secrets in the past. Well, the reason I'm so defensive about my past is that I've been trying to run away from it for years. You must understand that I'm being followed by hundreds of people. Who are you running away from? Were you a child star or something? I must say that I've had my suspicions about you. Tell me more. When I was hired at a fertility clinic in the town where I last lived, I began switching samples from the sperm bank with my own. Oh my god. Eventually, my seed was planted in every woman who came to the clinic, not that of the chosen donors or husbands. This guy's a nut job. People began growing suspicious when hundreds of children conceived at the clinic started to grow up and bore a striking resemblance to me. I wouldn't want my kid to look like you either, you freak. That's when I knew I had to pack up and leave town quietly. Oh boy, and probably a few girls too. I must say that I'm surprised. You have to be kidding me. This is outrageous. I'm sure you think I'm a dreadful person for doing what I did. So what if you have a hundred or so kids? Big deal. If I were you, I'd lay low and let the whole thing just blow over. You're a smart, good-looking guy, Mr. Winston. What woman would not want to have your baby? I think you've actually done some of them a favor. What you did was wrong, Mr. Winston, but telling me you made your first steps toward resp taking responsibility. I couldn't agree with you more. That's how I thought of the situation, too. So it's good to hear someone I like say the same thing. Uh-oh, he likes us? We might be next. I suppose that's good news. I'm delighted to hear that you agree. Now, I'm going to try and forget this whole thing just as fast as I can. All of this running had almost broken me. But you just managed to put most of my pieces back together. Thank you. You're not just my pharmacist, Mr. Winston. You're also my friend. And you're not just a customer. Oh, God. This is horrible. Let's get out of here. Let's go talk to Edie and tell her that she definitely, um... She, um... Dodged a bullet. So, Edie, this freak that, um... Had a crush on you. It's a good thing you're not dating him. Because he's fucking nuts. So, did you get to talk to Dr. Dork yet? He's less of a doctor and more of a pharmacist, but yeah, we had a talk and he plans to change his ways. I did talk to him, and he seems like he won't be a problem for you anymore. I tried to reason with him, but he wouldn't listen to me. I think I've selected this once before, and she's still like, Oh, okay, cool. Oh, okay then. Thanks a bunch. Yeah, that was her reaction, too. So, you know, whatever. Hey, Lynette. Hey, you remember me, right? Lynette Scavo? Oh, hello. Nice to see you without your lovely children orbiting you. 
Listen, this is gonna sound odd, but have you gotten to hang out with Susan Meyer at all? I mean, how well do you know her? I waved at her when she was pestering that plumber guy once or twice, but I don't really know her that well. Why do you ask? Well, I was... I was just hoping you could do me a favor and give her something for me. Give her something? <laughs> Let's just say that one of her paintings somehow came into my possession and... I just wanted to return it to her. Just what do you mean, came into your possession? <laughs> Let's just say that my boy sort of borrowed it <laughs> from Susan's home without asking her. By borrowed without asking, you mean stole. Let's just stick with borrow, and with your help, Susan won't even know it was missing. So let me see if I have this straight. You want me to give Susan her painting back without her knowing it. Does that even make sense to you? It makes perfect sense when you think about it. <laughs> well, if you can do the... Wait, well. Well, you can do all the thinking you want, but this is a crazy plan, Lynette. Trust me, it's simple. I'll make sure to keep an eye out and you can slip in and return Susan's painting. Is this some sort of hazing for the gullible new neighbor, Lynette? Just to see how far you can push the new housewife? So, give a girl a break. Will you help me out? Come on. You should be aware. I won't take no for an answer. Yeah, they don't call me a shark in the boardroom for nothing. So, normally I would select you really should do your own dirty work, Lynette. But either way, she's going to convince you to do it. So, um, well, let's do it anyways. Well, I really hope you reconsider. I wouldn't want word to get out that you're not the neighborly type. Oh, no. I guarantee it will be worth your while. So, give a girl a break. Will you help me out? Come on. You should be aware. Shark in the boardroom for nothing. I suppose, but just this once and you owe me big. Great. I promise I'll make it up to you. Cool. I'll take stuff later, because I will be sneaking into houses and, like, getting stuff. Actually, it's quite funny, because, um, I started this a while ago. I never knew what would happen if you snuck around and you got caught. So I started doing it, and you have different things that you can do. Um, you can convince them that, you know, they're like the crazy ones, or that you were actually doing a good thing, and they'll totally believe it, or they'll throw you out of the house. So, I'll do that later. What are you doing? Bitch, what are you doing? This isn't the place where you should be going. Alright, cool. Um, I wonder what I should do first. What are you doing? Hi. I can't thank you enough. I knew I could count on you, neighbor. Anytime you need anything, you let me know. As a small token of my appreciation, I'd like to give you this gift card. It's good at any store at the shopping center. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. Let's sneak into all the houses that I can. Um, how's my composure? Actually... Wait, how's my composure? Wh which one's a composure and which one's not? Whatever. Okay, let's see. sneak into Susan's house, get caught, and then um, give her some bullshit story. And she'll be like, oh my god, thank you. Because I find it fun. I don't know why, but I do. Let's go towards- there should be a puddle here somewhere that I can slip on. Yeah, it's really funny when they slip on puddles. <laughs> that gets me every time. Oh, you scared me to death! What are you doing here? Use composure and I'll do the others later. I thought I saw Edie sneaking around inside your house, so I came in to confront her, but as it turns out, nobody was even home. It wouldn't surprise me in the least to find Edie snooping around. Thanks for checking it out. My pleasure, Susan. I know that you do the same thing for me. Goodbye. Well, I should be going now. Goodbye. It's hilarious. I love it. Okay, well, Susan's home and she'll stay like that for a while. Let's check out all the other neighbors. Oh, shit. I probably should check to see if she's home. Sneak in. Baller. Let's get caught by her and use our composure skills. Always go by the phone first. Or actually, here. 
I love knocking stuff over too, it's hilarious. Okay, go over here, where you won't bother anyone. Sorry, the music is really irritating to me, so I'm just gonna stand here. What are you doing in my house? Okay, so again, we're using composure. I came over to see you, but the maid said you weren't in. She said I could wait for you, so I made myself at home. The next thing you know, the maid disappears and I haven't seen her since. That maid is completely worthless. It's so hard to find good help these days. I've been waiting for so long that I forgot what I came here to tell you. If I think of it, I'll give you a ring. Later. Okay. I'll see you later, then. <laughs> I love it. Uh, it's so much fun. How much composure do we have now? Oh, we don't have that much, actually, but it's okay. Okay, I think I'm just, like, gonna regain my composure because I want to try to sneak into every single house this episode and, um, trick everyone. So, yeah, let's just wait for that to happen. Alright, great. Her composure need is up, so let's go sneak into another house. Let's try to see if Paul Young is available. I figure my other episodes are gonna be, like, seducing people? I don't know yet. I haven't really decided. No, peace home. Uh, let's deal with it later. Or maybe the, those who are home should be seduced. Oh, we, we just broke in here. So, no. Don't go there. Don't go there, girl. Knock. It's a shame he can't try to seduce the housewives. Knock. Dude, I want your chili recipe. I wonder if I can get it now. Or if I have to wait till later. Oh, there he is. Homie, hold on. Chili recipe. Hey, how's the neighborhood treating you? I hate my neighbors. Present company excluded, I'm sure. Very funny, Mike. I'll see you later. See you around. Damn it. Okay, I guess this is going to be next episode. Or maybe when I get home from my husband's work or something. I don't know. No, I'm not interested in Etta. I don't think I can even slap Etta, which is really depressing. Damn it. Well, I guess I can sneak in once everyone's asleep. All right, let's sneak into Allison's. And then we'll trick her. What is this? It is, sir. The lost let's steal this. Just as the natives promised, indeed. It's a gilded death mask. And like I said, I'm so sorry, but I can't stand the noise. You totally freaked me out. What are you doing in my house? I thought I saw Nick Carter through your bedroom window, and I wanted to find out what was going on. He's not in my bedroom. Boys aren't allowed in there anyway. In that case, I'll be on my way. Goodbye. <laughs> so cash. It's like, oh, oh, well, okay, thanks for sneaking in. 